There is a, a disturbing groundswell of hate speech, xenophobia, racism, and intolerance being observed around the world. Social media and other forms of communication are being exploited as platforms for bigotry. Public discourse is being weaponized for political gain with incendiary rhetoric that stigmatizes and dehumanizes minorities, migrant, refugees, women, and any so-called other. Hate speech is a menace to democratic values, social stability, and peace. As a matter of principle, hate speech must be confronted at every turn and be tackled in order to prevent armed conflict, atrocities, crimes, and terrorism, and violence against women and other serious violations of human rights, and promote peaceful, inclusive, and just societies. Thus, on the 18th of June, 2022, we mark the first International Day of Countering Hate Speech. This day builds on the UN strategy and plan of action on hate speech launched in 2019. So in line with our global efforts, the UN in Sri Lanka has been working with stakeholders, including civil society, media outlets, tech companies, and social media platforms to counter hate speech. In Sri Lanka and globally, we need to counter hate, both online and offline, with full respect for freedom of opinion and expression, and strike a vital and delicate balance. Words can be weapons. Hate speech online can cause harm in real life. Let us act now to stop it. Solidarity is key in countering hate speech. Solidarity not only amongst the worsted communities, but also amongst all actors who counter hate speech by coming together to share best practices on what worked and more importantly, what didn't. Public interest content is a very effective way of countering hate speech. Both traditional media and digital media have a responsibility to create content that counters hate speech. But we must admit, there are knowledge gaps. Not all media outlets know how to counter hate speech. Regular or close contact with worsted communities could help in building community-centric counter narratives. And then the production teams and the digital teams could come together in wider amplification of the counter narrative to hate speech. It is to be expected that the counter narrative to hate speech may not always be as virulent as the original piece of hate speech. Regardless, we must foster a culture of creating counter narratives to hate speech. It is always better to have some counter narrative to hate speech then have no narrative to hate speech at all. Always say no to hate. It's extremely important to educate not only journalists, but also everyone else who's consuming mainstream media, because that's the most uh, consumed media to this date in Sri Lanka. And it also uh, generates a lot of legitimacy to the content that we see in mainstream media, although nowadays a lot of people also consume social media. What's interesting to keep in mind is that when there is violence taking place offline, um, we can also see the connection between online and offline violence, because in social media, when violence is triggered behind closed doors in certain WhatsApp groups or in Facebook groups that you do not have a lot of visibility to, that can give rise to violence that can take place offline. So this connection between online uh, violence or hate speech that is happening, that is connected to or that is giving birth to offline violence is something that we need to keep in mind. And that is something that mainstream media can also actively play a role in terms of educating uh, on hate speech and on um, steps that can be taken to combat hate speech. So what can we do as organizations and individuals to counter hate speech online? Number one, we need to stand up and speak up against it. We need a force of people to say no to hate. So the next time you see someone being targeted online, stand up and speak up against it. Number two, we need to bring our law enforcement, our legal and media professionals together to build their capacities to identify, to investigate and to hold the perpetrators accountable. And number three, push and lobby for the social media companies to do their part in and we should hold them accountable. 
We can all take action, whether you are an individual or an organization. We should all unite and say no to hate. Thank you.